So this is going to be a very quick review on this Nordlicht backpack. It's going to be a very quick review because this is part of a longer video where I'm waxing. Now that's that's waxing, not re-waxing this, this backpack. But I wanted to take you through like the details of this and just tell you like, in my opinion, this is a bad quality product for a number of reasons. One reason is, and the, I think the the most annoying reason for me personally, is I feel this was missold. This was sold as being a wax cotton backpack. And I don't, in my experience, this is not, this is not wax cotton. And if it's seen any wax at all, it's really not very much. I mean, okay, it's floppy. That's, that's one thing that instantly gives it away. This is a wax cotton backpack. It's not floppy. The wax really, it penetrates into the fibers of the canvas it makes them much, much more stiff, as well as making it much more waterproof, it makes it much more stiff. But anyway, we'll get onto the wax cotton thing in a second. There's a few reasons that make this, like, even if it was made of wax cotton, there's a few things that make this just not a good investment at all. First thing, uh, hardware. The buckle here with the canvas strap, the buckle is an incredibly, incredibly cheap stamped metal piece with pretty sharp edges is going to rub through this, this cotton strap pretty fast and it's not made in such a way that this can be easily, easily replaced. And that's, that's overall with this backpack. This is, is at a pr price point and a quality point where you're not meant to replace it, you're, re you're not meant to repair it, you're meant to replace it. And that goes totally against all of the blurb that they've got on their website about sustainability, durability, being in the outdoors, okay for the city. It goes totally against that. So that's the first thing, low quality hardware, lack of attention to detail. So it's got this roll top with a zipper up top. Zipper is okay quality, it runs pretty smooth, no problem with that. But the roll top is meant to add a extra layer of protection to the, the contents, making it a little bit more waterproof. But it just folds over once and when it's full, was even a little bit full, this is still wide open. So water's gonna get in. What if it's gonna get in anyway because it's not waterproof in the slightest because I don't think it's wax canvas. Uh, the, the, the pop snap here. Yeah, it's okay, it's magnetic, but it's again got sharp edges. This point here is a strain point and I can already see that that is going to wear through and rip open pretty soon actually. Overall construction, there's a couple of loose threads, nothing to really worry about. Uh, there's a zip pocket on the back, which I think should have had a longer flap, so this isn't actually gonna scratch your, your jacket. Um, that's, a, that's quite a particular thing, but it should, this part should go like further inside, so it's not gonna rub on any of your coats and wear through them. Uh, the straps themselves, these are too thin to be comfortable in any way. They're padded, but the padding seems quite cheap and it's not actually fixed to the inside in, in any way at all. You can actually feel that the padding is moving over slightly. So that's gonna be, that is already useless and it's gonna be pretty much useless very, very soon. Um, <laughs> okay, to the inside. The inside is something I've actually not got a problem with. It's got plenty of nice compartments. It's got, Decent space, it's lined, lining's maybe a little bit, a um, little bit light. Now it says, I don't know if it said that this one in particular has got a laptop compartment, uh, but it mentions that other ones do. There is a padded compartment in here. Padding is next to nothing. And it's actually not padded on the back where you'd want the protection for the laptop. Yeah, and it's tiny. I mean, I've got a medium sized MacBook. There's no way it would fit in there. That would be for a 13 inch MacBook maybe, or an iPad, something like this. But the, there's plenty of other storage pockets. Uh, there's not something useful like a key hanger or something, but I guess you put your keys in the front. Yeah. Okay, as I said, the main bug I have with this thing is that my girlfriend bought this bag because she thought it was gonna be wax canvas, so a little bit waterproof, which is, good for Berlin, you need something that's gonna be a little bit water resistant, not waterproof. This is not 
and I feel that that was missold. When I had a look at it, I told her that, yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't wax canvas. You should maybe write away to them. She did, and they completely ignored her. And by the time she, she had not heard back, it was too late to return it. Anyway, right, yeah, to this wax canvas thing. Okay, as I said, in my opinion, this is not wax canvas. On the website, on the actual page for this bag, it says material, wax canvas cloth, water repellent, lotus effect. Lotus effect is when you sprinkle water or something and it beads on top. I've got news for you guys, um, the guys at Nordlicht, if you spill water in most fabrics that are a little bit tightly woven, you're going to get the lotus effect. Sorry, it just is that way. But like I said, we are going to test this out. So, we have here my old archival clothing backpack. Now, this is definitely a wax canvas um, backpack. It is about eight years old, as you can see, because it's messed up. And it's never been rewaxed. That's really on me. I should have definitely rewaxed it. So the water repellent capability of this is going to be significantly lower. This is a few months old, so it should be much, much better than that. And for a control, we've just got like a canvas tote bag that I picked up from somewhere. And here we have to simulate rain, some Berlin tap water. Look, it's, it's tap water, I promise. I'll drink it. And yeah, okay, we're gonna sprinkle some, some water on and we're gonna time it to see how long it takes to soak in. Stopwatch. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very fair to the Nordlicht. I'm gonna start with, with my, my archival clothing, then I'm gonna move on to the tote bag and then I'm gonna move on to that. Right, okay, so. Three, two, one, start. And then this one. And then the Nordlicht. Okay, yeah, that's quite extreme, but still. It's to prove a point. As you can see, that all has this like beading effect that you just get when you spill water on a tightly woven material. Yep, that's just sitting there as I'd expect. Here you can see a darkening a little bit of the, the canvas where it's soaking through. And yet here, that's after, I'll have to go back and see, but that's after just a few seconds, it's getting really dark and it's really soaking it up. And that, if this was wax skeleton, that should definitely, definitely not happen. Yeah, it's spreading out, it's bleeding out. You can even see the, the smaller splashes here. They've already like soaked in. That's just because this is quite a lot. This is hardly soaking in at all and that's not treated canvas in the slightest. And yeah, as I expected, that's just kind of sitting there. Yeah, it just is. And that will continue to sit there as well. Uh, we're at a minute 20 now. Yeah, this is soaking through. I can see that. It's already soaked through in the smaller pieces. Yeah, that's soaking through as well and spreading out a tiny little bit, but still not nearly as much as this. Mm. Yeah, I can, I can pretty much stop the test now because that's soaked through to the inside now. That's hardly soaked through at all. And this has not soaked through at all. Okay, yeah, so as I said, in my experience, and actually proven that this is, this is a not a wax cotton canvas material. It's just not, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's gone through to the inside. And if you've got anything in your bag, you just don't want that to happen, not at all. Um, let me just, I'm sorry, honey, if this is messing up your bag. But other people should know. Okay, I'll just dry that off. That's not soaked through in the slightest. To be fair, it's, it's double-sided, but it didn't soak through at all. Um, this one. 
Yeah, a tiny little bit of a black mark, blemish. It's not soaked through to the other side, not at all. And on the main side, where is it? I can't even find it now. Yeah, you can hardly see that there was really even ever a mark there, so. Ah, oh, this really, this is the kind of thing that really annoys me when somebody gets sold something that should be something and it's not. But anyway, all this to say, like, don't buy from this company. In, in my opinion, you're being sold a lemon. You're being sold something that's not what it says it is. So that concludes this review section of this particular vlog. If you are just here to see the video about the review of this Nordlake backpack and you want to see what to do about the wax canvas not actually being wax canvas and just being canvas and you want to see how to wax the canvas, then I'm going to put a link up in the corner somewhere to me actually waxing this non-waxed canvas. I'm getting really confused now. If you were here for just like the video about waxing this backpack, then just stay tuned because we're about to do it. And um, yeah, if you were here just for the backpack review, thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Matt Wilson, this has been CRD, and I'll see you in the next vlog.